Hey everybody, since I am leaving Japan soon in just about six weeks, I wanted to mention the things from Japan that I will be taking with me. And I'm not talking about things per se, or uh, memories, or thoughts, but I'm thinking about certain behaviors and habits that I'm going to be taking with me. So let me show you what I mean. So um, one is going to be having one of these with you at all times. This is just um, a small little square hand towel and every um, person has one of these, has many of them, has with them at all times. Um, <clears throat> It's to dry your hands after washing your hands in the bathroom um, because specifically most Japanese schools don't have hand dryers or um, paper towel in the bathroom. So every student and every teacher has one of these. Um, and there's also like hand dryers and paper towels do exist here in Japan, but there are many places that don't have them. So even though in the U.S. you would never be in a bathroom, a public bathroom, without um, some for, some uh, way to dry your hands, I really like this because it's really eco-friendly and you um, are never using um, paper towels. So <clears throat> I have several of these and I'm bringing them home and I'm going to be using them at bathrooms. So that's kind of exciting for me. The next is really cute socks. Um, in Japan, cute socks are all the rage. Um, believe it or not, I actually wear socks with sandals here because sometimes they're really cute. Um, my indoor school shoes are sandal-esque, um, but I don't have to wear socks with them and wearing socks with them may be considered kind of a fashion sin, but Cute socks in Japan are extremely, um, they're, they're everywhere, and my kids actually really enjoy my socks, so I get compliments on them all the time. So I'm talking about like ones like this, um, they're just short socks. <clears throat> this is Doraemon. He is a famous cartoon character. I've got some Ariel socks, super cute. I have, um, these are some Spongebob socks, and this is a Shisa, he is from Okinawa, and these are some Hello Kitty socks, also from Okinawa. So the socks I'm wearing today are actually also Hello Kitty socks, but she is the, she is the Kanazawa Hello Kitty, which is my town. So there are socks of Hello Kitty from all over Japan. So cute socks. Um, I want to continue this, uh, continue this fashion trend. Um, next is going to be a UV or a sun umbrella. Um, don't exactly know how well I'll be able to keep this up, but um, Japanese women don't like to get sunburned. So in sun, you will see people carrying around umbrellas like these. And I think us in America would think it's really, really silly. Someone would look at you and think, uh, is it rainy? Um, but I don't know if I I don't know if I'll care if I'll be looked at strangely. And it's really helpful because I also don't like to get sunburned and I have very fair skin. So I'm, you know, going to bring this home. And if I'm in a place that's really, really sunny, you know, I might use it. So that's that. Um, and then the next, uh, last couple are kind of behaviors. Um, bowing is such a ubiquitous part of this culture. Um, I think I'm going to kind of just by muscle memory continue that. And I don't mean like a full proper bow that's kind of less common, but very commonly you'll see a lot of, you know, slight bowing of the head, you know, I mean just dozens of times a day I'm doing this. So, you know, to greet someone good morning really quickly, it's a nice little head bow or um, to say thank you to a cashier in the 
um, in the convenience store. It's a little bow of the head. So I think this is going to stay in my muscle memory and though people might not realize what I'm doing, I, I'm happy to keep this a part of my, um, my way of life because it'll remind me of Japan. And the last one I'll mention is, um, kind of just like that, um, in Japan there are different sounds for, like, filler words and, like, um, sh you know, to express, like, surprise or shock. Like, in the U.S. or, you know, in English we might say, um, you know, oh, this really thi really exciting thing happened to me. Oh, what? But here in Japan, you would be like, eh? Uh? So, so I, I didn't really see this. I didn't really take this on for a long time. But, oh my god, just constantly, recently, I just catch myself. You know, I'm reading something and it's like, eh? Huh? So, <laughs> I'm going to be... I think I'm going to be doing that until, you know, when I'm back. Because it, it, it's a reflex now. Like, eh? So, or, or more like, eh? So, <laughs> I'm excited slash interested to see if this will remain in me. So, so those are five things that I will be taking with me from Japan. And I'm glad that they will help remind me of my time here. So thanks a lot for listening. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.